Peanuts, get your peanuts here. Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Z and welcome back to another vehicle tutorial. Now this is a special request by a watcher on the channel to do another Optimus Prime. So we're going to do this one. So the first thing you want to do is grab yourself a coal block. You want to grab yourself a stone slab. Also grab a dispenser and a trap door. And we shall get started on this. One block down, leave a three space gap, place another block down. Leave a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on the eleventh and twelfth block, place your cold blocks. So you should have something that looks like that. Now with your slabs, we're going to come directly on the front and we're going to pile them on the front and we're going to double that up like so. From this point, we're going to place our slabs all the way to the end. And back down and we're going to fill all this in because we're going to knock some of them out as we go along. Okay, so you should have a chassis just full of slabs. From this point, we're just going to place one, two, and three. We're going to place a trap door here, another slab, and then we're going to place three trap doors, followed with another slab, and we're just going to leave that off right here. And we'll do the same on the other side slab, trap door by three, slab, trap door and then the rest all slabs. So that's what you should have at the moment. Okie dokie. From this point we're going to grab our trap doors and we're going to lift that on top and we're going to bring that over like so. So it's on top of the slab. One here and one across. Beautiful? Beautiful. On the top what we're going to do here is we're going to go across from the actual tire and knock out those and we're just going to place a trap door. Just like so. And at the back we're just going to run back the slabs by an extra three. Beautiful. From this point now we're going to grab our dispensers and we're going to drop three dispensers on the front. We're going to lift them up by another three. Now we shall go and grab our blue concrete, our red concrete, and we shall also grab stone brick stairs. Blue concrete on the front of the dispensers. And from this point we're going to turn our stairs upside down, and then we're going to turn them around and face each other. So we've got a big kind of wheel arch. Just like that. From this point behind the actual stairs, we're going to place a red block. And inside here, we're going to come up to the red and fill it all in up to the top of the dispensers. From here we're going to grab our dispenser and we're going to place that around and place it in towards the actual red block. And then we'll come out again with the red. From this point we are going to go and grab ourselves a block of glass, preferably black stained glass, and we're going to run three across the front. Down the bottom here we are going to grab ourselves a bit of cobblestone wall and a hopper. With your hopper uh, your cobblestone wall, you're going to place that on the slab. 
and on top of that you're going to place a red block. From here you're going to come up again and over, so up and over, so you've got that kind of, sort of like an arrow. Now we shall go and grab ourselves an iron block and place three next to the cobblestone wall. With your blue, we're just going to fill in by two, then come back up by two and over by two. Like so. And now we're doing the actual cabin. Fill that all the way in. And the roof. Now we can come out by the front by three. And on top of the glass, replace that with three slabs. Grab yourself another trap door and place that on top of the windows. With your cobblestone wall, we're going to come right by the window. We're going to place three inside the little groove. And we're going to come down the front and we're going to count one, two, and on the third block, on the stair, we're going to place a cobblestone wall. Now we grab ourselves some iron bars. We're going to place one on each of the cobblestone walls. One on the window. And we're going to come around to the back, and we're going to put a line of iron bars, and we're going to fill in the top, just like that. With your stone brick stairs, we're going to place one in the middle, just to tie it off. Now we're going to drop down inside. And continuing with the red, we're just going to fill that all in with red blocks. And to cover off this wall, we're just going to place one at a side. And just close that off. With your black stained glass panes, I'm going to come into the center behind the actual glass, I'm just going to place one inside. From this point we're going to grab ourselves a blue carpet and a red carpet. And we're going to place the red carpet on top of the truck and one in the middle. With your blue carpet you're going to place either side and on the actual wheel arches. From this point, we're going to go and grab ourselves some birch fence. We shall also go and grab a lever, a button, go and grab yourself a ladder. And on the front here we're going to place the ladders on top of the dispensers. And with the buttons we're just going to place them either side for our indicators. And a bit of detail on the back of the chassis cabin. On the front here Place three, just like so. With your birch fence, you're going to come up 
by two in height off the cobblestone wall. And with some iron bars, you're just going to run them up by two off the side mirror. Now what we're going to do is we are going to grab ourselves some black stained glass panes and we're also going to go and get some item frames. Item frames on all of the tires. And on the front. The black stained glass panes, you're going to connect them to the iron bars on the side to make them really pop out like a real truck. With your levers, you're going to drop down and connect that to the iron bar, just like so. With your hopper, you're going to come directly in here. You're going to knock out this block behind the cobblestone wall, and you're just going to connect that anyway, as long as it's connected. Just so you can have that little bit of extra detail just connecting in. Beautiful. Now with your stone brick stairs, you're going to come behind the cobblestone wall and you're going to place one behind that, just to give it a kind of bit more definition and make it look a bit more chunky. From this point, you're going to grab yourself a white bed and you're going to come and place that inside the actual item frames with the pillows facing on the inside. How beautiful does that look? Buttons inside the item frames. And any choice color for the hubs. I'm just going to use normal stone and place that inside. Just to puff it out just that little bit more. Next thing you want to do is grab yourself a red banner and you also want to go and grab some birch fence and a sign. With your actual red banners you want to place them on the outside of the actual tires. Grab yourself a sign, place a sign in the middle. Now you can put Optimus Prime, I'm just going to put my normal number plate down, just like that. And then next to that, place two either side of fence gates and push them in like so. We need a lever. We also need an anvil. And what we're going to do, we need, also need a bit of redstone as well. And we're going to come to the back, and we're going to grab our anvil, and we're going to drop that on the last of the slabs. And around here, we're going to connect redstone here, here, like so, and levers either side. Oh, wrong spot here and here, and connect these through so they connect and turn on, and there's your wiring for the trailer. Now 
And so far, ladies and gentlemen, that is Optimus Prime's rig. If you want to just have the actual cabin, what you do is you just grab a bit of red carpet and you can actually put them on top of the actual tires and away you go. For the continuation of the actual trailer, you just remove the carpets. And we grab slabs and we connect them to the actual anvil. And we're going to count back 33, starting from this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And we're just going to continue filling that in all the way back down the bottom. Just like that. Now we're going to come back by two and we're going to knock all these ones out on the sides. And we're going to replace them with iron trapdoors. So we grab ourselves an iron trapdoor. We're just going to run them all to the end by leaving two slabs at the end. So you should have something that looks like that. At the back here, we're going to grab our slabs. We're going to just dig down a little bit. We're going to run a line of slabs at the back. And we're just going to fill all that in. So you should have a double slab at the end. Right here, which is... One, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh and the eighth, just place your coal blocks like so. Beautiful. Now we'll come back down the front here with your signs. We're going to come down and directly underneath this dispenser and the trap door. Just going to place two signs. This is where we're just going to give it a little bit more little detail. From this point, we are going to go and grab ourselves a blue concrete. We're going to come out by three. We're going to run that up by five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Just going to fill that in. Like so. So it's hanging off the edge. Just like that. Now we should go and grab ourselves some normal clay. And I'm building this in default, guys. I'm just going to run that up by five. And I'm going to fill all that in.
Now it should look something like that. Okay, so the next thing what we're going to do is you want to take off the three bottom and replace the bottom with trapdoors and place three trapdoors on the top. With your iron bars, you're going to come out by two on the top. One, two. One, two. And replace a lever at the bottom just to hold it up. On the second clay, I'm going to run all the way to the end. And I think... Yeah, it's one away from the tires, so it's back here. One away from the tires, then you're going to come up by three, and then you're going to run that right to there. What we grab then is we're going to grab ourselves a white concrete, and we're just going to fill that in. three above, and one, two, three, four, five. And the measurements for the line here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, up by three, up by five. From the back, what we're going to do is grab our iron bars, and we're just going to run our iron bars all the way through the center, and leave out the top and the bottom one. And replace them with a lever. All the way down the front we go, and we shall go and grab ourselves a gray carpet, A red bed, a sign. We should also go and grab an item frame, some dark oak wood fence gates, black banners, cobblestone wall, buttons, and the choice of hubcap that you chose, which mine was stone. With your item frame, we're going to come all the way down the back and we're going to place an item frame here, which is the second block. We're going to come back and we're going to place a black banner on the back tires of the truck and then we're going to dig down. We're going to place a cobblestone wall. And then we're going to knock out two, and that's how we're going to connect it. Here we're going to use dark oak wood fence, and we're going to place three, just to cover the cobblestone wall. And we're just going to close this off. With your black banners, we're going to come to the front and we're going to place one, two, and three on the actual cobblestone wall. And swap out your cobble, your banner for stone brick stairs. Down the bottom again, we're going to remove three of the bricks and we're going to turn our stairs upside down just to give it that kind of elevation going up. Continuing on with our grey wool, we're just going to close all this in. And with our signs, we're just going to place two either side of the wheel arches. We 
with your item frames you're going to come around to the back you're going to place one on each corner and then fill that with a bed with the white pillows on the inside sign in the middle once again you can put in your own number plate you can put optimus prime and a sign either side With your buttons, you're going to place one on each of the corners and then one in the center. Either side of the trailer, you're going to place buttons. And then you're going to come to the center and just eye this, just put in two, and then directly under the second one, place a third button. So come over the top, place two, and one down the bottom. With your item frames, you're just going to come in and fill it in on the actual wheels, chuck in your buttons, and then put in your hubs. Now what we're going to do with our grey carpet, we're going to run and we're going to put a layer of grey carpet all along the top of the actual trailer. That should look something like that. With your item frames, you're going to place one in the middle of the actual trailer on the blue. And we're going to replace that with a normal skull. You're also going to grab yourself a red pane of glass. With a skull, you're just going to place that in the center, and that's going to be the Autobot symbol. From all the way down the end, replace the center with a red pane of glass. Inside here, what we need to go and grab real quick is a tripwire hook. I'm just going to put a tripwire hook down on the corners for any kind of connections. And inside the wheel, we're going to extend that over by another iron trapdoor, like so. So it looks like everything is connecting. With your blue carpet, we're just going to come to the top of the actual cabin and place a layer of carpet just to give it that kind of depth to the front. Like so. And I think that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to have a quick squeeze around here to make sure I've got everything in there for you. We've got a lever. I've done the rigging here a bit different. But that's okay. That's fine. I like this one better. Oh, we have got a bit of detail. Right, what we need to do here is remove three of the iron bars and place. And this is why I did the rigging like I did. And place your iron trap doors along the back. Just like that, like a little shell. And that's the rigging how I've done it. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. A new Optimus Prime from the movies. And there was my original one that I did. Going back a long time ago. 
where it's three wide, it just looks all wrong. And now you guys have got the upgraded version. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you so much for doing the tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Z. Thank you for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more vehicle tutorials, let's builds, and live streams. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.